This conference will now be recorded. Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll understand one simple scenario that is like how to add one framework application in between two existing applications. So consider, so consider let us understand this as one organization like ABC and this is having one framework application. And for this, there might be one implementation. So consider this as our existing design. Maybe if my requirement is to add one new application between these two, so how to add? This is what we're understanding. Okay, so this looks very simple, but few people here and there facing some challenges. So that is the reason planning for video for the same. So our new design should be like organization and it should be having with our existing framework and here we need to include our new fw new framework and this should be connected with our existing implementation as it is okay consider this as like abc as one organization and abc main fw and consider this like abc loans okay consider this like abc loans and new design should be like abc main fw and maybe abc sub fw and ABC loans okay so let us try to implement this for this let us go with this design implementation first let me create one new framework quickly and let me create one implementation also after that is done let us create this middle one and let me include between this existing things okay let us do that quickly so first let me try to log in with administrator login Okay, so first let me, after logging in, I'm trying to create one new framework application for the organization like ABC. So let me give it the same names, ABC main FW. Or let us go with XYZ, seems like ABC organization is already there. So let me go with XYZ instead of ABC, let me go with XYZ main fw so let me make it like framework xyz is our organization name so let us save this so let me create one new application okay fine so this is done this part is done so I need not have operator ID and I don't want operator ID also for the same now itself. So let me ignore it and let me create one new implementation also. So for that, let me log off. Not required actually. Okay. So administrator at the rate pega.com. So this install. Okay. So let me create one new implementation. So new implementation meaning that should be based on this existing framework, right? So let me create new one considering like existing framework that is XYZ. So this is the one. Let me select this. Let me go with this one. Okay, so data types, okay. So let me create it like ABC loans as the implementation name. It's or XYZ we are planning, right? XYZ loans. So this should be implementation. And connected to same organization XYZ. So save this. Okay, so let me create one operator ID for that XYZ implementation at the rate gmail.com. Something meaningful. So let me add. login it has to take me to to implementation application fine so now if i just check for the inheritance this has to be connected for the main fw we know that okay so the, sorry by default it will be like work dash cover dash only no so let me go for this application definition and for this, it will be showing like work dash cover dash. And let me link this with our existing main FW that is XYZ dash FW dash. 
this one. So let me save. If we just check for inheritance, we can easily understand that our implementation and on top of it, our framework and on top of it, organization and other things. So currently we are having this design done, okay, considering like existing design. So this part is done. Our next thing here is we are supposed to create one new application and that should be connected between this first one and third one. So first let me create one new application, maybe like XYZ sub FW. So let me create it. So I can create new application even with this login also. But let us try to do that with administrator login so that access group mismatch will not happen. So administrator at ratepega.com and password as install. Let me create one new application. So this new application has to be derived from this one, right? So let me select the existing one that is XYZ main FW this one okay okay and let me give it like xyz sub fw sub framework and this should be of framework type and related to our xyz organization and simply save this okay so let me add operator id for that xyz sub fw at the rate gmail.com something meaningful let me add okay so let me save this operator id somewhere now let me log in with this fw log off and log in with this Okay, so we know we have created one sub framework and this has to be connected to its main framework. So I can check for the same in the application definition. In the built on applications, I can see it's parent. But in the class structure by default, it will not be there, right? So let me do the same in class definition. So let me give it like XYZ dash FW or main FW, main framework. So this one. Let me give it like main FW. Let me save this. So what happened? So, so far what happened is like this one will be having parent as this. Okay. My sub framework will be acting like a child for the main one. So these two connections are done now. So next thing we have to log in into this implementation and by default this implementation has got framework one as the parent. Now I have to change the parent name. So just log in onto this change the parent name from main fw to sub fw so let me log in with implementation let me log off from here so this is our implementation operator id fine so if i just check for the inheritance of this this will be derived from the first one itself so this will be derived from this one itself now I have to get this one derived from this, meaning just open this class definition. So let me open this class definition and change the parent class to this. That is one change what you have to make. And just to make that change, you have to do one more thing. So if I'm trying to check for the definition of this, so here you have to generally give it like sub FW. So you will not find it directly. You will not find it directly. Why? Because this application has to be derived from framework 1. So it will not be showing all any other classes. It has to be derived from its framework 1. That is what the design existing now. So if I wanted to change the connections, first thing you have to go to application definition and you have to add the parent. So let me add an application. Here it is showing up. Loans application is showing up main one only. Okay, so I have to give it like child one also. I can straight away remove this and give the child one. Or let me leave that alone and add the next one also. XYZ 
sub fw if i can add this and by default it will be with this version only we know that and let me save after this linking is done straight away you can add new class from here okay so if you go to class definition and if you are trying to add one new class here it may not be showing you promptings sub fw it is not showing because this is already loaded rule so you can straight away log off and again log in back with the same implementation ids so now check for the class definition so here straight away you can add sub framework we can straight away add sub framework class here and if you just simply check for the inheritance we can understand this work class that is like loans application derived from sub framework and this is in turn derived from main fw so finally we can achieve this design so whatever your project construction might be in future however we want we can change it okay so just to create the new application log in into that and change its parent name maybe its child parents name also should be changed accordingly you can just think of it but just small point what generally people will be missing here is in the application definition they will fail to add it without which we cannot able to get the connections first application should be connected then its classes will be connected so this is the thing okay so hope everyone